Now today we, we will be seeing trigonometry. Why I am starting this trigonometry in the beginning? You will have more and more applications of trigonometry in all the other topics also. So you must be thorough first of all in the formula that are uh, there in trigonometry. All these formulae will be utilized further, mostly in calculus and calculus plays a major role in engineering entrance examinations. Whatever the engineering entrance examination is there, you will have 30% of the questions, 25 to 30% of the questions will be taken from calculus. So trigonometry is uh, such a subject, such a subject, it will be utilized in other topics also as another concept. So, so what we do will be first of all understanding the history of trigonometry and then we will move on to its applications. Sriram, do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Just now I started. I'm talking about uh, the importance of trigonometry and uh, let us see the history of trigonometry so that you will also be impressed because trigonometry uh, has uh, its foundation from India only. It is, it is generated from our India only. So let me share you the document that is related to it. Okay, so the history of trigonometry, what I'm saying now, you can see You can see the Aryabhatta you must be knowing, it is, yes. uh, uh, he is uh, of uh, the time 476 to 550 AD, you can see that. And uh, he wrote the Surya Siddhantas and Aryabhattiyam. These are the uh, famous books written by Aryabhatta, which contains the values of sine and versine. Versine is nothing but the cosine. You know that in your 10th class, you have already uh, read this sign and uh, cosine and uh, he then itself in uh, in uh, around uh, 500 AD itself he gave the values of sign and versine with in the table in a, as a table with a, an interval of 3.75 degrees the values are ranging from 0 to 90 degrees with an accuracy of four decimal places so Surya Siddhantas and Aryabhattiyam uh, it laid a foundation, in fact, laid a foundation in the development of a trigonometry. So how our people, Indians, uh, they, uh, they uh, introduce, they, they are otherwise their red trigonometry is like this. This is an arch here. You must be knowing archery, archery, you know, the, uh, that, that, is, uh, 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 that is known as uh, Kappa. Kappa is an arc. These are the Sanskrit words you must understand. So by taking that uh, arch, archery from, this is, this is the shape of the archery, that, uh, that uh, in this one, this nowadays we are saying it as arc, and this is the vertical component in the green color, if you see, it is ja, it is known as ja in Sanskrit. And later on, it is translated by Arabs as Jiva, Arab mathematicians as Jiva. And uh, then it is uh, mis mistranslated by the Europeans as bosom. And that bosom, this is, they, they thought that it is the shape of the bosom. And that is why they named it as bosom. And later on, it is... Uh, uh, it is so uh, the, the name sign and all these are derived and again they are exported to India like that exported to uh, we can say to the world. So the the foundation is laid from India only and this ja what we call is nothing but sign nowadays and uh, this is koti ja is nothing but the cosine and this is vyasartha means radius you must be knowing that. This Utkramja is not at all used in nowadays. It is one minus cos. So it is one minus cos. That is the reason why 
I gave you the uh, terms here, Ja or Jiva, mistranslated by Arabs as Jiva, is nothing but sign, and Koja is nothing but cosine, Ko, Ko, C O C, Ko. So Sanskrit words, you can see that, cosine, and Vyasartha is radius. With Kramaja, I said, no, one minus cosine. Kapa, Kapa, Kapa is an arc, like that. These are all generated, these are all exported from India only to European countries and they westernized or we can say they, uh, they translated them into English and then again they are sent back. Okay, so <clears throat> now if you see this is the history of a trigonometry. Now if you see the applications, applications must be very much interesting to you like how the applications of trigonometry uh, will be used because whenever you learn mathematics, any topic of mathematics, generally you may be thinking, what is the use of this? What is the general general question posed by the students is that, what is the use of uh, this topic? So how trigonometry is used uh, in the applications? If you see trigonometry, according to the uh, topic title, tri stands for three, gone for size and metron for measure. So it is triangular measure, three sides measure is nothing but tri trigonometry. So if you see this now, there is a very, uh, very a, a, a huge tower is there. And uh, if you want to measure the height of this tower, you cannot climb the tower and you cannot uh, count it, you know. Then in that case, how to, how to measure the height of this? Sridham, do you, do you listen to me? Yes, sir. Yeah, if you want to count the height of the uh, this uh, tower, then in that case, what we do now, we can, because we are living on the earth here, this distance can be comfortably measured. This distance can be comfortably measured, which is horizontal. And uh, this, the hypotenuse, and we use a, an instrument called goniometer. We use an instrument called goniometer. goniometer. That goniometer gives you this angle here this angle here. So goniometer, if you count this angle, and if you know this horizontal distance, through this angle, if you write, uh, if you write tan theta, you know, tan theta is, you know, because you read them in 10th class, opposite side by adjacent side. From that one, we'll be getting the opposite side. So the applications of trigonometry goes like this. You can find out the uh, height of the tower like this using trigonometry. So that is why I'm first taking up the, the applications first. If you want to understand the height of a particular building like this, then if you know this distance using goniometer, you can find this angle of elevation, this angle of elevation if you know, and if you know this distance, you can find out the height of the tower using trigonometry. Okay, next is it has many more applications like this. It has many more applications like this. Angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point is above the horizontal. This is called angle of elevation. And if you see uh, from, from, from top to bottom, it is said to be angle of depression. So similarly, the navigation also, this trigonometry uh, is applied. And uh, uh, when this is, uh, you, you can see, the angles that uh, the, the, the angles, all these are uh, uh, counted using trigonometry only. Land surveys, buildings, optics, statics, crystallography, and all these uh, uses the trigonometry. Okay, so similarly, nowadays it is used in games also. Trigonometry in games. How it is? How is it used? Uh, just if you see Mario, you must be knowing the game Mario. Yeah, Mario. Did you ever play it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Before. So what he's saying, when you see him so smoothly glide over the roadblocks, he doesn't really jump straight along the y-axis. It is a slightly curved path or a parabolic path that he takes to tackle the obstacles on his way. Trigonometry helps Mario jump over these obstacles. And what angle he must jump to uh, uh, to overcome the obstacle that will be calculated 
with the use of trigonometry only. So as you know, gaming industry is all about IT and computers and hence trigonometry is of equal importance for these computer engineers. You must know that. Similarly, mobile games nowadays. Mobile games, for example, in aeroplane is uh, horizontal, it is going. And if you want to raise this to some angle, raise to some angle, let us suppose this is a, some, if you, if you count it, it's 135 degrees, let me say. Yeah. If you want to make it uh, to an inclination of 135 degrees, then you have to make use of trigonometry. So all this or the applications you must understand about the trigonometry. Similarly, in the construction of a metros, Railway bridge. a pillar is of this height and another pillar is of this height. Sometimes what happens according to the availability of the space, uh, they cannot uh, construct horizontally always. If you see the metro yeah. rail, metro yeah. rail will have some uh, uh, ups and downs in its track. Then in that case, uh, if the metro rail is to be traveled then the, uh, on the hypotenuse area, according to this construction, you can see this is a right angle triangle and uh, how much distance it is to travel. And that gives you the length of the hypotenuse. And uh, yeah, like uh, this, it is there in Chennai also. I have seen a bridge. Right, like, right, uh, right. It uh, won't be straight. It will be uh, like uh, same like this only. At yeah, one yeah. certain position, it will go underground. Yes. And due yes. to the space availability. Yes. They cannot construct it straight. Correct. So, it's not possible because already constructions are there. Already yeah, constructions the are there. Are they there. cannot yeah. demolish all the constructions. That is the reason why they have to take the Only turns. Only small, have... small areas where there is uh, yes. and all. They yes. Can... Even now in Hyderabad also, yeah. we have a metro train and uh, uh, you can see uh, uh, Maurya, whenever you come to Hyderabad, you know, if you, you can see yeah, that. I come, come. I, I come ah. Hyderabad every ah. year. Even in Hyderabad also, you have metro. Yeah. Now it is constructed. So, if you if you see all this, trigonometry plays a major role in... Uh, that means uh, whatever the calculations they use in these constructions and um, and uh, the game uh, gaming and all this, they're all the high-level applications of trigonometry only. Okay, so this is what uh, we can say about the applications of trigonometry okay now what i'd like to tell you here this one <clears throat> now if you see your 11th cbsv textbook it begins with aryabhatta only they also mentioned the year just see this it is good happens in your cbsc textbook they mentioned 476 to 550, Aryabhatta introduced this. And what all the diagrams I have shown, they mentioned it clearly. That's very happy to say this introduction in this uh, CBSC textbook. The book and mentioned. many areas, they, they gave it clearly. Seismology, designing electric circuits, uh, describing the state of an atom, predicting the heights of tides in the ocean, analyzing a musical tone, and uh, many other areas it can be, it will be used. So now, what is that we have to understand with regards to this? And what is the beginning of trigonometry? Let us see that. Let us see that now. See. See, first of all, let us understand the definition of angle. Sriram has some network problem, I think, has gone away. No problem. Let us continue. <clears throat> he will come. So, let me first uh, give you the definition of angle. What is the definition of angle? If you see a ray like this, and this is another ray, these two are intersecting each other. And uh, let me write, the, let me name this ray OA. OA is the ray and OB is another ray. And uh, this is the angle you must understand. Then how do we define this? How do we define this? What is the angle? Angle is... Angle is the amount of rotation that is to be made to OA I'm writing the definition of angle. I'm writing the definition of angle here. Angle 
it is the amount of rotation i think you have network problem over there no sreera yes sir because we are uh, week uh, weekend right so everyone uses network mainly okay. after 6:30 and all your network problem right no issues i just i'm introducing angle now it is the amount of rotation that is to be made that is to be made to o a to reach ob this is the definition of angle so what is the point to be noted here the amount of rotation if i say no amount what is this amount here amount means amount means uh, it is used for even currency also so what is this amount here and how do we say that how do you, how is it to be measured that gives you the measurement of angles now so first of all the definition of angle you must know two terms here if the angle is measured in the anti clockwise direction it is said to be positive angle it is said to be positive angle you, you must be surprising how is it said to be positive angle when it is in the anti clockwise direction positive direction when it is in the anti clockwise direction why should we take it as positive direction generally what happens every year we celebrate uh, our birthdays but uh, uh, but what we forget is our age is uh, subtracted from the total lifetime isn't it so as the time moves we celebrate birthdays but we forget that one year is reduced from the lifetime from our lifetime so that is the reason why i'm saying just for just for information so always <clears throat> anti clockwise direction is nothing but the positive direction then what should be the negative direction if it is measured in the in the clockwise direction the clockwise direction is nothing but the negative direction you must understand that so clockwise direction means here oa to ob is uh, anti clockwise and if you rotate ob to oa it is said to be negative direction or clockwise direction so you must understand this positivity and negativity first of uh, the angle so if the angle is measured if the angle is measured in anti clockwise direction positive in the clockwise direction it is negative now what are the measuring that is amount of rotation i said what are the units we use to measure the angle is also important here so let us understand what are the measuring systems here so let me check your textbook once so that you will also be comfortable if i explain this from your textbook let me see that so i'll be sharing this uh, screenshot for you as the notes but uh, you listen and understand first that is uh, that is the important thing here listen and understand anyway i'll be sharing the screenshot sira okay, uh, okay. you share your number so that i can send the link through whatsapp to you directly okay okay sir. sira now i'll give it okay yeah 60 Yeah, yeah, no, no. You you send me your number through WhatsApp. Okay, my my number you know down. You know down my number, and uh, uh, you you ask uh, uh, Maurya. Maurya will give you my number. Okay. Okay, sir. Right now, let me let me explain you the measuring system. the systems to measure the angle systems to measure the angle let us understand that okay so here <clears throat> just moment please yeah now let us check 
what is that given in your book and I'll extend it and how it will be applied in the objective examinations <clears throat> like uh, engineering entrance examinations, IIT, J and all let us, I'll, I'll extend it. So this is the angle, positive angle, negative angle. Just now I explained it. It is clearly mentioned here. You can see that the initial side, terminal side, the direction according to the direction, we call it as positive, anti-clockwise, clockwise negative angle. So now degree measure, and the first one is degree measure, and the second one is radian measure, and you have one more is uh, French system grades are there, but he did not mention this here. He did not mention this here because that is not in use in fact. That is not in use in fact. That is why he did not mention it. So I'll, I'll, be, I'll be explaining you the three measuring systems in which one system is not in use. One system is not in use. So let me brief it. Let me brief it. We need not have to go in depth of that. Let me briefly explain you that. So what is that measuring systems? Number one, number one is degree measure. Number one is degrees. It is called British system or sexagesimal system. And it is denoted by zero in the power degrees. Number two is grades, which is not mentioned in your textbook, power G. And of course it is not in use nowadays. Number three, radians. So radians are denoted with the power C. These are the three systems of measurement, which we use to measure the angle. So here, the relation between these three is needed and of course grades is not mentioned even then i'll give you just for the information that is number one relation between them relation between them what is the relation between them 180 degrees just to see this carefully understand this carefully because you have an exercise on this one. 180 degrees is equal to 200 grades is equal to pi radians. This is a relation between these three. Degrees, as you know, in your lower classes itself. And radians, whether you know or not, I don't know. I'll be checking it now. This grades, you don't know. This is a relation you have to remember. As far as different measuring systems are concerned why you must remember this and among them just forget this grades here we don't need it even in your textbook also it is not mentioned the reason is that only not in use so the relation between degrees and radians why you must remember if you want to convert if you want to convert degrees to radians and radians to degrees how do we convert how do we convert one degree is equal to pi by 180 radians one degree is equal to pi by 180 radians and one radian is equal to 180 by pi degrees this is what you must understand in the conversion from radian measure to degree measure and degree measure to radian measure but let me understand from you whether you know this or not what is that radian do you know radian or not any one of you please if you know no, it's sir. okay if you don't know i'm here to explain you no sir no sir okay no, no problem no issues now Radian definition, please. Radian, how do we define the radian? It is the angle subtended by an arc 
it is the angle subtended by an arc at the center of the circle whose length is equal to its radius what does it mean if this is the radius and of course this is also radius and here what is that you have to understand here this is l let me say this is l and this is r this is also r and here if l is equal to r what does it mean length of the arc is equal to radius of the circle then the angle subtended subtended means what the extremities of the arc what are the extremities of the arc here a and b, b. if you join a and b to the center to the center c whatever the angle is formed here is nothing but one radian one radian one radian so what is the definition here it is one radian is the angle subtended by an arc by an arc at the center of the circle whose length is equal to radius of the circle whose length is equal to radius of the circle that's what you have to understand this one radian value approximately one radian value approximately 56 degrees approximate value just you have to remember that because in the problems you 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 must be applying this so that is the reason why approximate value you must remember one radian is equal to 56 degrees around 17 minutes or so and exact value you can see in your textbook also but what we need is you remember one radian is equal to around 56 degrees because in the problems we will be using that and you should not get confused with one degree and one radian nothing is mentioned you know then it is nothing but radian one radian is not equal to one degree generally what happens you now the students get confused here radian and degree between radian and degree so you must you must understand this so this is about the radian so now what is that to be understand again is that is that you have to you have to convert the angle from degrees to radians and radians to degrees how to do that how to do that let us understand that now for example you have uh, and uh, finally to conclude even if i gave you the relation between degrees radians and grades just remember just remember radians and degrees relation that is sufficient for us pi radians is equal to 180 degrees okay now let us understand let us understand how to convert this see for example you have i'll start with zero zero there's no problem at all for example if you want to convert 30 degrees to i went out due to network problem uh, can you tell me the value of one radian one radian just let me come back let me check whether it is available or not the diagram yes it's available one radian uh, why don't you use a light on your face Sriram, from next class onwards just make your face bright no okay uh, actually uh, camera is not that much good in this device uh, laptop okay no issues no issues What's now good? what happens now uh, the one radian definition it is the angle subtended by an arc it is the angle subtended by an arc at the center of the circle whose length is equal to radius of the circle means length of the arc is equal to radius the angle subtended means extremities of the arc must be uh, must be joining the center and whatever the angle is formed here is nothing but the one radian one radian value is approximately 56 degrees 16 minutes you can check you can check in your textbook but we need only the approximate value that is i, I am not giving you the exact value of it exact value means it is approximate only but uh, there are some figures after this also in seconds also it is given okay so is it clear sir now should I move forward? Yes, sir. 
Yeah. Now, what is the relation now? This is important. Uh, in your problems, you'll be getting this now. Pi radians is equal to just now I said 180 degrees. Now, pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. We will be using this to convert degrees to radians and radians to degrees. Now, the question is here I want to convert 30 degrees to radians. Then, in that case, it is nothing but 30 into 1 degree. Just understand this. So, 30 into understand this uh, 1 degree is to be taken from this relation only like what 1 degree is equal to bring this 180 to other side pi by 180 radians similarly do you tell me how to write radians to degrees and uh, 1 and one radian is equal to, please, one radian is equal to what? 180 by pi. That's good. 180 by pi. Degrees. This is what to be understood. Now, apply the same here to convert 30 degrees to radians. Replace one degree with pi by 180 radians. Then if you cancel it off, if you cancel it off, you will get this cancel for six times as you know. Now further, whatever the problems you are given, either in degrees or in radians, you must be able to understand this. So 30 degrees is nothing but pi by 6 radians. This is what you have to understand. So pi by 6 means 30 degrees. 30 degrees means pi by 6. Similarly, you can work out the other angles also. 45 degrees is nothing but pi by 4, please. Pi by 4, 180 by 4 radians. Similarly, 60 degrees, multiply this with 2. It will be pi by 3 radians. Similarly, if you convert 90 degrees, do you tell me, Sriram, now 90 degrees? Half pi of 180, no. So pi by 2, simply. Maurya. Similarly, if you want to convert 120 degrees, it would pi. Sriram, 120 degrees is nothing but double of this, you know? Double of this, pi simply by 2 pi by 3 two pi by two. radians. So, was and so on, you can write like that. And 180 degrees, obviously pi. I need not have to tell you that. Yeah, pi. Okay, similarly, if you want 210 degrees, you know, it is 7 times of uh, 30 degrees. 7 times of 30 degrees obviously seven becomes pi 7 pi by 6 radians. This is what... You have to understand the conversion of degrees to radians and radians to degrees. Okay. Now, again, you have, you, 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 you know the usage of the wristwatch, whatever the watch we are using for the time, for the time, according to that, you know the minute's hand, you know the second's hand. You know the minute sand, you know the second sand. So, how many minutes is equal to how many seconds is one minute? How many seconds is one minute, 60 please? Seconds. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. So, one minute is denoted by one dash on its head. What I mean to say by head here. <laughs> And the one, power at the top of the power. number one, one power. This is one minute is written. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. Seconds are denoted with two lines like this. And one degree is equal to 60 minutes. Eight. Correct, no? You all know this. You all know yes. this in a circle. If uh, 
seconds hand moves one complete cycle gives you one minute if a minute's hand yes. moves one complete cycle gives you one degree so one degree is a, a one by 360 part of the circle at the center one degree is one by 360 part of the circle okay. at the center this is the okay. information you know but we are going to apply this in the problems in the problems let us check out the problems now okay so let me move forward with this data yes now if you see this one is given convert 40 degrees 20 minutes into radian measure and all these these are the examples you can go through that comfortably i need not already explain you that because you have the you both of your textbook with you you can go to that now find the radian measure corresponding to the following degree measure can you try this Srina? You can try this. Yeah. 25 degrees. We are doing it here. Here itself I'm doing. 25 degrees. And 25 degrees, we want to convert to radians. 25 into pi by 180. Correct or not? Twenty-five into pi by one eighty gives you Do you simplify this for me, please? Five pi by five pi by thirty six. That's it. This is nothing but radians. Number two, forty seven degrees thirty minutes. What I suggest you write this forty seven degrees as it is, and thirty minutes as half degree. Correct now. Now convert this mixed fraction. So minus 47. Oh, uh, I, I think it is a printing mistake. Anyway, you can take it. No problem. Take the minus. No problem. What, what for the minus is used? You tell me, Maurya, now. Good. Uh, when you measure in clock. Very good. That's correct. That's correct, Maurya. Let us take minus only. No problem. So this is minus 47, double of 47 is uh, 94 plus 5. So 90 minus 95 by 2 degrees. Now convert this to radians is equal to minus 95 by 2 into pi by 180. Sriram, are you doing this? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, if you simplify this, it is nothing but if you simplify this, it is nothing but minus minus 19 pi by 72. 19 pi divided by how many times it goes? 72. Two. That's it. Because it's a mixed fraction, you have got yes, sir. the fraction like that. And third one, coming to the third one now. 
240 degrees. 240 degrees if you want to convert 240 into pi by 180, please. You can check. You can check this anyway, zero, zero getting cancelled. That becomes four pi by three. Yes, you're right. Nothing but <clears throat> four pi by three. Because I want to make a, uh, a strong foundation for you in the board level so that I can promote you to ITGE main level and advanced level. First of all, we'll be doing these problems in the beginning like this. And after that, what I do, I'll be giving you the entire theory first. I'll teach you the theory part and uh, uh, the concepts thoroughly so that I'll be discussing the only the objectives and the related questions for the engineering entrance examinations. And further, after, after finishing the related theory and concept, you will have to attempt these questions on your own. Remember that. Further, further, we'll be doing like that. In the board level questions, I'll make you to do it on your own. And all the engineering entrance level examinations, I will be doing. I'll be doing. Okay. Because it is the beginning. I'm making you to do this. And after that, I'll make you to do it on your own. 520 degrees, simple, is equal to 520 into pi divided by 180, come on, tell me now, you know, 26 pi by 9, correct. Twenty six pi by nine radians. Okay, I did not write that radians because we already converted it. I am not writing that when it is mentioned in pi. It is obviously radians only. Is it clear, Srira? Yes, sir. I'll start a WhatsApp uh, group uh, with. Uh, your numbers first so that the link can be shared directly in the group. Okay. Uh, Srinam, uh, you know down my number and say hi to my number. Okay, sir. This is 92481 Raghu. And whatever the video I send you, further of this class also password passcode to open that video is also ragu r capital at the at my phone number the passcode is uh, same for all the videos what i sent through zoom the recorded videos ragu at 92481 say hi to me and i'll save your number and uh, i'll be sending the link combined to you both i'll form a group of you both okay, and whatever the whoever the students come further we will have a group and so that whatever the doubts you have when you are working out the problems, those doubts can be posted in the group so that I'll be answering. Okay, sir. So it's clear, I think I'm uh, addressing this. Right, let's move now. The degree measures corresponding to the following radian measures use pi is equal to 22 by 7 is pi is equal to 22 by 7. He's saying 11 by 16. 11 by 16. Let me write the data first and then I'll move on to the blackboard. Just a moment, please. Let me write the data first. 1, 11 by 6, number 2, minus 4, 
नंबर थ्री फाइव पाई बाई थ्री नंबर फोर सेवन पाई बाई सिक्स ओके नाउ दिस इज वॉट the data given this data is now to be converted to degrees what we did is we converted radians to uh, degrees to radians now radians to degrees you can do that comfortably because you know the relation between radians and degrees let me do that this is 11 by 6 don't forget these are radians now 11 by 6 radians you have to convert them to degrees by writing 180 by pi and use pi as 22 by 7 i need not have to tell you that because you know that 22 by 7 that 7 comes up this gets cancelled for 11 times and this gets cancelled for 90 times and uh, 600 by 11 becomes 180 by 22 One eighty by eleven uh, pi. It is. Yeah, yeah. You can cancel it. Yes, yes. I have not seen this. Good, correct. This also gets cancelled. Now six thirty by six. Even that also gets cancelled two times. I think. Let me do that. Six also gets cancelled. Fifteen times, no. Fifteen into seven here, and it is one out five degrees. So eleven by six radians is equal to one out five degrees. Next one, minus four radians is equal to minus four into. One radian, you know, it is one eighty by pi. Is equal to minus four into one eighty divided by twenty two divided by seven. That seven goes up, and uh, you can cancel it. You can cancel it for two times. This is. Eleven times. Now, how much is it? It is eighteen into fourteen. That denominator is eleven. Eighteen into forty. Multiply that. Twelve plus three, fifteen, two fifty-two. You can now divide that. Do tell me the degrees now. It goes for two times twenty-two, thirty-two, and then what is that remaining? Ten by eleven. Minus two to nine point. Yeah, minus. I have uh, missed out here. Degrees. Okay. Similarly, 
this 5 pi by 3 can also be converted in a similar manner. Come on, you do that. Instead of pi, you just write 180. Instead of pi, you write 180 because we know pi radians is equal to 180 degrees. So what happens? It, it can be straight away done like this, 5 by 3. 300 yeah. degrees. 180 by 3. So what is the second answer? Repeat, Sridham, what is that you are saying? Uh, second one answer. Ah, 20 minus 20 to 10 by 11 degrees. 10 by 11, we wrote it as mixed fraction. Yeah. yeah. You can, of course, convert it to... Uh, Normal fraction. Ma uh, minutes. Oh, yeah. Improper and, uh, fraction. Yeah. That, uh, that is also there. And even in, it can be converted to minutes and seconds also. So it goes for how much is it, uh, Maurya? 100, no? No, I wrote three two times here. 300. Yeah. I wrote three two times here. Three hundred degrees. In the same manner, you write here also seven into one eighty by six. Twenty degrees. Yeah. So it is two hundred and ten degrees. Okay. I'm forming the group, uh, Maurya. Now, uh, those uh, friends, those who are interested to join, uh, you said other two girls are there, or whoever is there. You also, I'll make you also admin, and you add their numbers in the group, so that we'll be sending the link, common link to all of them. Those who are willing to join, they will join. Because some Sir, girls, meeting yeah. link for, right? Uh, uh, Sridhar? Is it meeting link for... Uh... Pardon me? Is it meetings link? Ah, yes, yes. Meetings link. Okay. Zoom Sir, link. you will be sending that a meeting ID and password also separately, right? Yeah, I'm sending, no, like uh, if you if you uh, click on the link, sometimes uh, it may not work. That is the reason why I'm sending both. both Sir, because uh, I'm using my laptop. So, laptop, it will be asking only that uh, meeting ID and password. Yeah, yeah. Mobile only, I'll get that uh, link. I'll so, show you. I'll show you how it, uh, how I share it. I'll show you that. Just wait. Okay, sir. Is it finished? Oh, yes, Ma sir. Finished. Yeah, Maria. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. See, Sriram, uh, yes, I'll be sending like this. Just see, this is a. Uh, this is a link. Okay. If you click on it, it goes. And below that, I'm sending even the meeting guide and passcode also. Separate. Ah, yes, sir. Thank Both you. I'll send. No problem. Okay, sir. Okay, now from here onwards, you will be getting the verbal problems. We will see that in the next session. Tomorrow, by the same time, <clears throat> I'll take the class by the same time for one hour tomorrow okay, sir. and from next week onwards Maurya it will be on Monday Wednesday Friday 9 to 10 30 Indian Standard Time and for okay. you it is 6 30 to 8 8 okay 6 30 to 8 but right. gen generally what happens whatever we begin no that should not be uh, that should, we should not have break on second and third day that is why I took the class today and I'll be taking tomorrow also. And uh, okay, from next week onwards, it will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Friday. for mathematics evening, uh, 6.30 to 8 quiet time. And later, after the formation of the group, uh, I will introduce physics and chemistry also.
I'll introduce okay, the sir. faculty of physics and chemistry also. That will okay. also be in same days so or it will be different days? Yeah, obviously different days, Maurya, uh, uh, Sriram, because uh, I'm taking three days now. Remaining three yeah. days will be adjusted for uh, uh, physics and chemistry. We'll okay. plan it. We'll have a perfect timetable so that you will be more comfortable. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, See sir. both of you. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Good night.